Hello there Pixies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing part 8 of Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Um, before I start, I want to show you something cool. So, um, I was playing a little bit... Ooh, look, there's new stuff. Okay, we just had a big update today and the servers have just been... Uh... What's the word? What is the word? Uh, updated and like doing maintenance. But I ended up doing a little bit of a mini story which I didn't realize I had to do um, in which we have to go find the things for that ghost Simon Talmadge I think his name is and um, all right there's something I found before is it this if I click on some of these things oh yes deep into memories so if you go up to this mirror you've got deep into memories um, I'm just going to do this end of this little story mission in the space section but uh, look here we've got intro information about everyone we've met so far we've only met Simon there are a few other people there's a lot of people to meet through personal spaces I think which is cool so we're gonna have little mini stories to be able to do so he was 16 at time of death uh, he's a ghost permanent ghost uh, his personality is artistic quiet loyal he likes painting, Gwydion, and being orderly. Um, his dislikes are bullies and chatty. What? <laughs> Those are really, that's a really weird English. Like, dislikes, bully, chatty. I'm assuming he doesn't like talkative people, so I'm not sure why he's friends with Gossamer, but... Yeah, there's just information about him here. Simon was a gifted painter that struggled with social interactions he hoped to find belonging at Hogwarts but continued to feel like an outsider he befriended portraits in the school particularly one named Gossamer and devoted himself to integrating art and magic unfortunately his classmates saw him as even more pe pe peculiar because of this so there you've got a little information about him pretty awesome Uh, visitor, encount visitor encounter rewards. Encounter three visitors. Uh, I don't know what that means. What is there like a explanation of this? Hmm. Interesting. Then there's another person we don't know yet. Gwydion Idris. No look yet. But that's Gwydion, his best friend. 17 when Simon passed. He's a half-blood. Former Hogwarts student. He's smart, righteous, and charismatic. He likes reading, Simon, and puzzle solving. He dislikes bullies, sweets, and injustice. And he, yeah, so there's all his information. I have a feeling that Gwydion and um, Simon possibly were more than friends, but we don't know. It could be, it could not be. But the way they talk about each other, and, and Simon mentions him a lot, um, yeah. Who knows though, they could just be friends. So in within this little personal space, we've got a mission. We have to find clues, search for clues by the staircase. Let's do that. Ah, there was the it's Eiffel possible Tower. one of these portraits knows something about the inflated girl painting. Let's ask around. Yes, the inflated girl painting. We have to, I believe we have to find the inflated girl painting because it's his favorite painting that he made. Hmm. A portrait of an inflated girl. Yes, I do recall such a painting, and the young girl who inspired it. If my memory serves, she was a Gryffindor with a particularly sharp tongue, a weapon she frequently used against poor Simon. Normally he just grinned and bore the bullying, but on that day, a boy stepped in and gave her a taste of her own potion. Simon stopped coming around as often after that day. I dare say he seemed quite taken with that other boy. Mm-hmm. See, he was quite taken with him. A very interesting wording for just friends. Yes, I know the portrait you're talking about. A disturbing product of a disturbed mind. You take that back! Simon's not disturbed! He's the nicest boy I've ever met! You're in denial. To those of us with unclouded eyes, it came as no surprise that he turned out to be a bad egg. Hmm. That's not very nice. 
You're not a very nice portrait, are you? An inflated girl? Are you talking about that unnerving portrait in the entrance hall? From what I hear, she's been making the other portraits quite uncomfortable. You'd be doing everyone a favour by moving her to a more suitable location. I do believe I saw the caretaker transporting a portrait matching that description not too long ago. I couldn't tell you where he was taking it, but he seemed oddly smitten with it. He kept talking about moving it to a place where it would get the attention and appreciation it deserved. That man really ought to get out more. If that gossipy portrait's information is correct, the portrait of an inflated girl should be on display in the entrance hall. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! The inflated girl portrait has to be here somewhere. Let's look around the room and see if we can find it. Oh wow, that was a weird camera angle. Okay, um, why is the camera angle so weird? I don't... Oh, okay, there we go. Let's keep walking. Aha! Cosima, is that the inflated girl portrait? Yes, that's the one! I can't believe you found her! Simon is going to be so happy to have her back! It's such an uncomfortable image. No wonder it's so polarizing. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think Simon painted this portrait to celebrate the time his bully finally got what she deserved? I imagine so. No way! Simon didn't like bullies, but he wasn't mean-spirited. More than anything, he just wanted to be left alone. Now come on, let's get the inflated girl off that wall and back where she belongs. I can't wait to see the look on Simon's face when he sees our surprise. Bit uncomfortable really going and looking for a portrait like that to put up in a room to make some guy who wanted revenge happy. It just, meh. Yeah. So what do we got to do? Place the mural... Place the portrait on the wall. Okay. Um, how? Oh yes, let's go to furniture. And decoration mode. We go to this one, the portrait bit. Where are you? There it is. Um, let's put her there. Oh my gosh, let's make her huge. We could make her about that big. That works, right? And then we click. Almost got it. Just a little to the left. Uh, there. That's perfect. Where did you find that? The entrance hall. This wall was looking a little bare, and I know how much this portrait means to you. So we thought we'd surprise you with it. What do you think? He's not going to like it, is he? I think I told you to leave me alone. Mm-hmm. Wait, before you go, I just want you to know that I think your portrait is beautiful. You do? Most people find it disturbing or unnerving. Only one other person has ever called it beautiful. I mm -hmm. really do. It's harrowing, yet deeply personal and sentimental. I'd love to hear the full story behind it. Since you insist. I can't remember what I did to incur Mabel's wrath that day, but she had it out for me. She was just about to cast the pimple jinx on me when Gwydion, a boy in the year above me, who had witnessed everything, cut her off with the inflating charm. I'll never forget what Gwydion said afterward. There. Now your appearance matches your ego. <laughs> I was speechless. No one had stood up for me like that before. Gwydion got... No. Oh, dear. More than a best friend. A knight in not-so-shining armor. I painted this portrait that same day so I'd never forget his gesture. Okay, he totally has a crush. I remember you telling me the story of how you and Gwydion met, but I had no idea that's where the idea for the portrait came from. You and Gwydion became inseparable after that. What happened to him? Did you ever confess? Was he there when you passed? Has he... has he passed too? I feel like I've missed so much. Hmm. Gwydion. Gwydion's moved on. I still suggest you do the same. Hmm. 
I don't understand. Simon used to tell me everything. I know it must be frustrating and painful, but look on the bright side, Gossamer. Your plan worked. That's right. The inflated girl portrait did seem to lift Simon's spirits and get him to open up, if only a little bit. You know what? You're absolutely right. I shouldn't see this as a loss. I should see this as proof we are on the right track. Then why not make finding furniture our next step in restoring this place to its former glory? It'll certainly make the place feel less empty. Good idea. I'm not sure where all the old stuff ended up, but an old friend of mine might. Give me some time to find her. If she's still at Hogwarts, I'll let you two know straight away. Okay, so... Uh, a lead on the furniture. Talk to Gossamer. Let's do that. Or maybe we'll do that in the next one. Shall we do that in the next one? I think we will. For now... We will do the main story. The companion... Daniel, talk to Ivy in the corridor. Okay, let's do that. Oh dear. just us. Half the castle seems to be sneezing, coughing, or both. Apparently, Hogwarts is not immune to the common cold. We gotta talk to Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was weird. Which is why both of you should be in bed. You'll end up spreading it to others, and then all of us will get sick. What? You expect me to skip Quidditch practice? <laughs> You're mental! <laughs> Easy, Robin. Getting upset won't do your throat any good. Whatever. Just stay away from me, both of you. I've got important things to do. Hmm, sounds a bit suspicious. That's odd. Daniel can be a little distant sometimes, but I didn't get to read that. <laughs> Check up on Ivy and Robin. I don't want to miss class, but Daniel's right. I could use the rest. I hope we didn't upset him too much. He's been a little withdrawn lately, and so busy. I hope he's not trying to avoid us. Ugh, I just want to fly around the castle and not have to stop and catch my breath every two minutes. I hate this. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this. I'm jealous Daniel gets to make his potions all hours of the day. I actually saw him drag a box full of ingredients into the bathroom. He's committed. I'll give him that. Making potions in the bathroom? Hmm, maybe I should look for Daniel in here. Okay, I mean, it's not hard. He's literally right there. <laughs> But hey, it's Myrtle's bathroom, everybody. Look at that. Which one is the Chamber of Secrets tap? Can you guys tell? Does there, does there, is there one of snakes on it? I don't see one of snakes on it. Hmm. Don't see one. Let's go here. Looks like I was right. Daniel is brewing a potion, but what is it? Hi, people. What are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same question. I mean, it's kind of weird that all these people are just in the girls' bathroom, just... And, like, no... <laughs> uh, can you even be in there? Is it obvious? I'm here to make potions. It's the only place in the castle that isn't full of coughing, sneezing, sick people. Is that why you've been avoiding everyone? Not exactly. Look, I just want to make pep... Uh, um, make uh, progress before the next potions exam. Is there something wrong with being prepared? Hmm. Of course 
course not. Good. Now, since you're here, you can help me. This potion is almost complete, but I need to get some jewelry. Now, just keep an eye on the flame while I'm gone and make sure it doesn't get too hot and boil over. But don't cut it. I'll be right back. I know what he's making. As soon as he said pep... Well, as soon as everyone was sick, I knew what he's doing. Check the potion cauldron. What do you guys think he's doing? It's... I mean, you're going to find out very soon. But uh, any potion fans out there will know exactly what he's brewing, probably. And, uh... Ten points to your house if you get it right. Okay, I inspected it. Peeves, get lost. Oh. oh, do I have to do the voice? Little Danny Page hiding in the potty to make his potions boil. Says it's for fun, but now he's ran and his secret is about to spoil. Peeves, what are you on about? What secret? Can you promise, didn't I? Can you promise not to crack his cauldron, though? Peeves, don't you dare. Yeah, Peeves. You gotta fight Peeves. Battle. Oh, look at the bridge. I love the new little... What? Where, where? Um... What? I can't do anything. Peeves, you rotter, stay away from that potion. I told you to make it for my f for, uh, for my potions class. I can't let Peeves ruin it. You're injured. Don't worry. I'll heal you. Place Daniel on the field. Oh, okay. I won't let you fight. I'll patch you up. When Daniel is summoned, he will replenish a large amount of HP for r units in his range. Health points. Harry Potter. Which... <laughs> Right. Atmosphere charm. Incendio. Once played, Daniel will lose health as he heals you. Make the most of this ability before he leaves. I don't even. Stupefy. I actually have no idea what's going on, to be honest. Inflated. Boom. Incarcerate. Oh, that didn't work. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get lost, spiders. Keep going. You've got this. Thanks, Daniel. Uh. Incendio. Okay. Stupefy. Stupefy. Oh. Okay, that was quick. Talk to Daniel. Ah, oh, looks like only a little of the potion spilled. Thanks to you. You're welcome. Now, I think it's time you came clean, Daniel. You're making pepper up potion, aren't you? Who told you that? Peeves? <coughs> He's lying. <laughs> Aww. Peeves didn't tell me. You did. I know you care about your friends. Sneaking off to brew a potion to make them feel better is exactly what you do. I don't know what you're talking about. This is for the class. Oh, Daniel, it's fine to have oh, friends. Daniel, it's okay to admit you want to help your friends. I promise I won't tell anyone how nice you really are. <laughs> fine, I'm making pepper up potion. But it's because if they feel better, they won't get me sick, that's all. Mm-hmm, sure. <laughs> sure it is, Daniel. By the way, you're blushing. I'm sorry, but I, I really think him and Pixie are cute together. Although I have a feeling Ivy is someone he fancies quite a bit. Yay, we get rewards for talking to Danny Boy. Oh, Danny Boy. <laughs> the pipes, the pipes are calling. Right. Find Cassandra at Diagon Alley. Shall we do that? We will. But I think I want to do a class. Because... I said we'd do divination if it's divination day. And look at that. It's divination day. You might do two classes. Maybe. Let's go do some uh, divination. I wonder if anyone's online to ask to help. Oh, Demetrius is online. Maybe he wants to do it. And let's see. Is anyone else online? Uh, no one else is, really. 
let's invite Ivy. No. Let's invite Robin. Okay. Okay. Attend. Oh, look at Newt. Hi, Newt. So this is one of my favourite classes. Um, and I just thought I'd show you the class. Ancient Runes is the other. Welcome, my children. Yes, hello, Trelawney. The key to reading a crystal ball is to look beyond. Now, what do you see? Okay. Observe the pattern in the crystal ball. Oh, I got a... Oh, man, I got to draw a chessboard. That's new. Um, okay, so there's that, that, that. Ugh. What? It's not letting me draw. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's the best I'm going to get. Just keep drawing. Just keep drawing. Oh, God. Come on, let me draw. Okay. Just colour some of them in. Colour some of them in. Oh my gosh. That did not let me draw. Why? It looks so terrible. Ah. <laughs> it was not letting me draw properly. Now exchange crystal balls, my dears. Okay, so we're going to exchange with whoever's there. Ah, uh, that's a telescope. That's got to be Robin's because it's too perfect looking. <laughs> oh. They're not going to get what mine is. Now exchange your crystal balls again. So now whoever I'm... This person, Katie Louise. Oh, that's the night bus. That's a good night bus. I'm sure she's not going to get mine. So we might not get a perfect score because we all have to figure out what we've all drawn. For those who've had the sight, oh, let me see how you did. <laughs> okay. I'm, there you go, let's like that. Good night bus, did anyone get mine? I mean, it's terrible. Bravo, Robin, <laughs> bravo. What did we get? We got an excellent score. Everyone guessed each other's, I think. But that's, cool. that's fine, let me give you a like, there you go. So there you go, that's, that's divination. That's pretty cool. Sorry, okay. Uh, we're going to do one more class before we go and do any more story things. Because I wanted to show you ancient runes. Defense Against the Dark Arts is like doing a duel with a lot of people, basically. Uh, hey, he's there too. I'm just going to see who we get. We're going to get a ma random match of people to work with. It's a lovely bit of art. Okay, so we've got to, um, it's a match game, really. Oh, I know then. I know. Don't do it, don't do it. Pick a different, yes. Okay, my turn. Oh, no, it wasn't quite the right ones. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure that one was over here. I... I'm pretty sure that one's over there. Yes. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Cool. Next. Did I see that one somewhere? It's there. No. I did that last time. Uh, oh. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's that one. She knows. She knows. Ah, they know rather. I don't know who they know. Okay. Oh, man. No, okay, I saw that one somewhere. They're there. Oh. I saw that one somewhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Go on, Ginny. <laughs> or Ganny. Um. Yes. Okay. Uh. Oh, I saw that one somewhere. There. There you go. We're we're even at the moment. It's over there, isn't it? 
pretty sure that one's there and there. Let's see. Yep. That one is there. And that one is there. I won. <laughs> Brilliant. Fun time. Love that one. I could play that for hours. Well done, girls. Brilliant. We got a perfect score as well, which is just what we needed. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, look at that, Quidditch. It's Quidditch. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, let's go and find Cassandra at Diagon Alley. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Cassie. I know you don't like me calling you Cassie. Cloud. Wait, isn't that Cassandra? Hi, Cassandra. <laughs> what? Oh, it's you. What do you want? I want to talk to you, Cassie. I was just saying hi. You looked a little lost. Lost? I'm not lost. It's my gloves that I can't find. My favorite pair. Silver and embroidered and... <sighs> oh, forget it. I have plenty of gloves. What's one less pair? Hmm. I'll help you look for them, I guess. I already told you no. What's lost is lost. It's not worth the trouble. Wow, okay. You, however, you could do with a makeover. Perhaps an entirely new wardrobe. Oh, thanks. Me? I think I'm dressed rather smart today. No, no. This simply won't do. You should wear something that expresses a unique personal style. Personal style? Like what? <laughs> that would be me. How do I no, it's your style. Think, how do you want the world to see you? Hopefully not like this. You could do much better. Hmm. Fine, I'll help you. It's not that I want to, it's just that I'd rather not have to look at this ridiculous outfit of yours any longer. Um, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Cassandra. We know you love us, really. Why would you care what we're wearing if you don't like us? Uh, Madam Alfie? Ah, oh, finally! Fashion! Let's see if we can improve your look. You want to use my magic wardrobe again? Allow me. I'll make you even more beguiling. <laughs> Please take your time. I mean, that is, I love that beret so much. Look at it, so cute. How much money does all this cost though? How many gems? Seventy? I mean, I've got enough for sure. Um, I'm not sure about this hat, but it's very groovy. Groovy, groovy with its little eye on it. Oh yes, darling. Oh, I feel like I'm going to the uh, to the races. Going to the, the Ascot, darling. The Royal Ascot. With my girly pals. Yes. Oh, cool for the summer. <laughs> um, yeah. No. <laughs> Not my colour. Let's have a look. Mm, some scarves. Hmm. It's you very well. They're all so expensive, these gems. What? Um, there's obviously... Huh? There's nothing on that one. Anyway, we don't want that. We don't want this hat either. But that beret hat is cute. I probably would wear that. Let's try it. Oh, I've already got it. I've already got it, so that's irrelevant. So, yeah. <laughs> that's completely irrelevant. Let's go to... Oh! Wait, no, let's go back. Because we didn't look at the hair. Go ahead! Please, take your time. Oh my. No. Not in that colour, anyway. <laughs> that looks a bit like my hair, if it's in a bit of a mess. It's quite nice. Not in that colour again, because I I don't 
pull off the Khaleesi look, guys. There's my beautiful bun. It is my favourite, probably. It just suits her so well. Uh, okay, back to normal. Let's go and look at the um, clothes. Oh. None of them are really calling to me, you know? These gowns are carefully cut from fine materials. Please, take your pick. None of those are speaking to me. Pink is not my colour. Ever. Well, it can be. I do like a good bit of pink, but this is giving me umbrage vibes and I'm not here for it. Um, If I had to pick, it would be that. That was very me. This one is kind of me. Kind of, but the colour scheme. Bleh, it's so... It's so like neutral, it's not, it's too neutral for my, my tastes. This is super punk rock kind of vibes. I love the boots. I love everything about it except that furry jacket thing. I hate that. But everything else is super rock and roll and I'm super here for it. I was very into that kind of vibe a few years back. I might want to get my hair made a different color, you know, but I quite like that she's, um, when I was older, I used to have like a bunch of different hair Found colors. Anything you like? I do like this outfit. How much is it? Tell me. Oh my gosh, six hundred and seventy. Uh, no, that is not a good deal. Not even close. Six hundred and ten. I mean, I really like that, but I. I, I mean, no. I have five coupons. Does that count? maybe do the coupons do anything do they help because i i do kind of like this a fair bit uh what happens if i 600 660 purchase what's that mean coupons oh i can add coupons uh okay I have Madame student coupon. Oh my gosh, could I do that? Can I? Can I do that? Apparently, Find anything you like? I can't add the coupons. Why can I not add the coupons? What? That I don't understand. I have coupons. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it, I got it. Can I, can I do that now? Oh, so if I use all of those coupons, it comes to 610. Uh, yeah, we're, we're not, we're, we're not here for that, darling. We're just, we're not here for that. I have coup, I have student coupons, don't I? I have three. Why can't I add them? Oh, man. I'm not, no. Okay, it's not worth it. Cute outfit, but not worth it. We are done. <laughs> Thanks, Cassandra. I guess we're going to have to stick to being basic. Ooh, my night bus. Yeah, okay. She's probably going to tell me I look great, even though I didn't do anything. Ah, oh, finally. Fashion. Let me want to use my magic wardrobe again. Do I have to? Please take your oh my time. gosh, I actually have to do that. No, now equipped. Okay, cool. Can I go now? Wait, I have to buy something? Really? I have to get something. Maybe I'll get the hair. I don't know. This is nice hair. Oh, Madame Student Coupon can be used. 500 coins i have 500 coins i mean we can we can add it and then change the color i feel like it's not very me i wouldn't wear those pigtails so mm, i wouldn't wear them it's just not really my thing i already have that hair i mean that is really nice but i don't know i'm just not liking that look Mm, it some dreads. Very well. I've never had dreads, but I've had a similar style to that before. 
Um. Okay, none of those has. None of them. Okay, so I can use the student coupon on that. Can I use the student coupon? Can I just buy a scarf or something? I know this is long. <laughs> uh, I'm taking forever, but um, this scarf is cute in blue or the yellow one, probably that one. We can add it. What's on there? We can use the coupon for five. I mean, I don't want to use 180 gems. I just don't. Or 130 gems. Uh, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just get everything that I wanted. Go get that scarf. Oh, yeah. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Hello. Not yet. I might as well get this thing here. I might as well just go all out, shouldn't These I? These gowns are carefully cut from fine materials. Please are you gonna... take your pick. Can I use the coupon? If I got the coupon there, it all comes down to seven ninety. I <laughs> no, no, <laughs> forget that. Uh, forget that. We are gonna go. Okay, fine. Gingham scarf, blue. I mean, it's cute. Yeah, let's equip it right now. Now we've finished. <laughs> I can't believe there was an entire task where it's just spend your gems. Spend them. You have to. Honestly. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's done. Now we can go and do what we must. We'll just go. Let us go. Let's go to Madame Malkin. Hello, Madame Malkin. Oh, hello, Cassandra. You look lovely, dear. So, what do you think of my new look mirror? You weren't kidding about the new look part. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm going to say it's amazing. It's amazing, Madame Malkin. And super useful. I wish I had one in my room. You do. I'm glad you're satisfied. Is there anything else you look you need, dear? Actually, there is one more thing you can help me with. Certainly took your time. Let me see. A gift for you, dear. Your friend picked them out personally as a thank you Aww. gift. That's sweet. Our new mythic lavender gloves. On you, they'll no doubt look divine. I just wanted to say thanks, Cassandra. They may not be as nice as the pair you lost, but I hope you like them. That is so sweet. She doesn't deserve it. She's so mean I to take everyone. Back what I said earlier. Apparently, you do have a sense of style. It's so weird because the the words and the sub the subtitles don't match up with the audio Which at all. Which still should be checked by professionals, like myself. <laughs> oh, thanks in advance, Cassandra. I'll be sure to get your approval the next time I go shopping. <laughs> she likes us really. Look at that cute outfit. Look what at those think? two. Shall I wrap these up for you? Hello, go away. Oh my gosh, this game is being so buggy today. After the server <laughs> maintenance. What? Can you... Can you go? Oh! <laughs> I'm so dumb. Um, no, maybe next time. Not to worry. I'm expecting fresh arrivals soon. Please. Well, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird. So buggy. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Protego Totalum, head to the charms classroom. Uh, let's see, how many have we got before the next story point? Ooh, one more, so we might as well go do that. Let's go do that. We might do the rest of the personal space story as well, possibly, before we finish off with this episode. I'm so ready for dueling practice. 
Aren't you excited, Kev? Not particularly. You know I'm no good under pressure. And that means I'm no good at dueling. It's terrifying. But practicing is the only way to get better. Think of it like homework, only more fun. Oh, I don't know. I'm not so sure I have a master duelist in me. You don't have to be the best. You just need to know how to defend yourself when something dangerous happens. When something dangerous happens? I plan to stay as far away from danger as possible. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's just, just hanging out, like not even talking to them. Scaredy cat, scaredy cat. cat. Whatever, Robin. But if you get hurt, don't say I didn't warn you. I love how Pixie was just kind of there, but she was not even engaging in conversation. <laughs> Talk to Robin. What did I say? I was just kidding around. Kevin is sensitive about the things he's not good at. Flying, socializing, dueling. You should know that. I yeah, it's true. There are people who really can't deal with it. I do. I just wish he wouldn't worry so much. Kev is the smartest guy I know. With a little practice, he'd be a great duelist. Oh, she's so into him. Hmm. What if he only had to be really good at one spell? What are you talking about? I have an idea that just might work. I'm going to find Kevin. Um, give me a moment. I'm just going to quickly change these settings up a little. Um, I'm going to turn up the... Uh, I'm going to turn up the music just a little bit. There we go. Uh... I think that should be fine. Right, let's go. Talk to Kevin at the library. Talk to Kevin at the library. Yep, there he is. Aww. I feel, I feel for Kevin because I'm very bad at socialising sometimes. And you, no matter how hard you try, it feels like you just don't know what to do in that situation. And it can be very distressing. I thought I'd find you here. You all right? It's embarrassing how bad I am at dueling. And every once in a while, Robin really gets under my skin. Hmm, I get that. She's just trying to help in her own special Robin way. I know. I just wish I was a better duelist. I get mm. so flustered. Oh my gosh, I feel for him so badly. About that, I have an idea. I'd be terrible at dueling in real life. What if, instead of trying to master every spell Professor Flitwick has assigned us, you just master one, Protego to Talon? Isn't that a protection charm? Oh, if I could create a shield, I could protect my friends and be useful in a duel. For a change. Mm-hmm. That would be less overwhelming for sure. Yeah, I... good idea, exactly. Pixie. I mean, you couldn't hide behind this one spell forever. But once you get the feel of dueling, you'll be more comfortable and the rest will come naturally. What a sweetheart you are. What do you say? I think that's brilliant. Will you help me practice? Of course. <laughs> I'd be happy to. She's such a sweet... I, I like our main character in this game. Practice with Kevin at the Charms classroom. Okay. Come on, Kev. We got this. Ooh, we have some things to get, collect. We love a bit of collecting. Sunshine, daisy, butter mellow. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Uh, no. But thanks, Ron. <laughs> I don't know. What is this? Oh, the magic class. Yes, claim. Okay. It might help with the... Ooh, we got more keys. Yeah, it might help with, uh... Stuff. With, uh, dueling. I don't know. I just thought I'd get it before I really do I'm this. I'm nervous. What if I mess up? Can we practice before class begins? Yes, we can. Of course. Oh my gosh. Who was that? Was that Harry? I think I know the trick to this spell. Just like the book says. Let me give it a go. 
Nice. Good job, Kevin. Gosh, I think I did it. The air around me seems to be... You've got to try it too. Okay. Protego to Talum is ideal for protecting things. Let's give it a try. Get Protego to Talum to protect the fire work box. Okay. Protego to Talum. Oh, that's... <laughs> wow, look at that. See, the firework box is unscathed. Nice. Oh, the phrase. Ugh. Of course they well, did. Well, what do we have here? Dueling practice for nerds? Yes. A lot of good it'll do you, Kevin. Why? Do you guys care so much what I we're doing? I'm so sure, Colby. Kevin's mastered a new spell. Are you sure that's even Colby? You need more than one good spell to win a duel. Would you like to test that theory? <laughs> Sassy Pixie. Love it. Okay. Pixie, I don't know if I can... Protego Total. Ha! Nice. Stupefy. Okay, okay, okay. Inflated. Ah, spiders, whatever. Oh, no, I can't protect you right now. What's going on? Get lost. Ventus. All of you, float away. Yes, go away. I'm trying to... Incendio. Oh, thanks for inflating me. Dang. Oh, oh my. Uh huh. Thanks. Thank you very much. Impossible. Stupid fire. Oh, I want to protect him. Oh my gosh. Why won't you let me protect him? Atmosphere charm. What is going on? What do you. Now you're in trouble. Well, now you've got two of you. Inflated. What? Where is Kevin? Why is he... They're not even going in the right direction. I mean, I didn't barely get to protect Kevin. I didn't... That was a weird fight. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and I practiced with Kevin at the Charms classroom. Yay, we did it. Gotta hand it to you, Kevin. Didn't think you had that kind of fight in you. <laughs> was that a, a compliment from a fray? Calm down. We'll let you off easy. Yeah, next time you won't be so lucky. <laughs> that shrug. Kev, that was brilliant. You were amazing. I hardly did anything. It was just a protection spell. What are you talking about? Without your shield, we would have been done for. You saved us. Oh my gosh, she got paler. I swear she got paler. Yeah, I saw the whole thing. They would have been toast if it weren't for you. And Kev, I'm sorry I called you a scaredy cat. I was just kidding around, but it was still kind of mean. That's all right. I know you were trying to help in your weird way. And thank you. I couldn't have learned that spell without you. Of course. It was all you, Kevin. You're a natural defenseman. I can't get over it. She's way paler than usual. We should totally team up, Kev. You keep me safe, and I'll knock our opponents out cold. We'll win every duel. <laughs> Excellent idea. You two would make a cute couple. I mean, <laughs> a great team. <laughs> yep, see? Totally a thing. At least Robin's into him. I don't know about Kevin liking her. Yay! Chapter 5, A Necklace to Remember. Oof, do we do it now? Do we find Ivy's necklace now? Or do we wait? Mm. Ooh, well, let's inspect this though. Yay! It was there, so I thought. I think that we'll leave it for today. We've done quite a few things. And we will do chapter 5, A Necklace to Remember, next time.
So, uh, with that, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, please feel free. And I will see you guys next time, Pixies. Goodbye.